There's a huge part of America living back. We'll talk about this in a bit, 1963, post-World War II, goods producing America. They've been left behind. Does education, do jobs programs, do job start programs, do they help? Yeah, they help. What, but what's happened, if you look at the unemployment rate and you go back 20 uh, months, 30 months, go back to the beginning of the uh, Great Recession, what's interesting is that uh, for educated people, college and above, uh, it didn't change. They yeah, but for a large part of America, incomes have gone flat. You look at the chart, yes. up we go. It's my chart of the year two or three years ago, and it just hasn't happened. Right, and, and the, the, what I'm saying is that for college-educated people with skills, there was really no great recession. They were afraid maybe their houses temporarily lost uh, uh, ground, but for the most part, they were okay during that period. The re Great Recession was really concentrated in the people who don't have skills or education. Yeah. Those people are usually working, get their start in infrastructure and in construction, and that sector ha shut down with the uh, 2007 and 8 uh, calamities mm -hmm. and never has come back completely. And I think that's really important to remind us here on this show and in general in the media, this is something that Ellen Zenner at Morgan Stanley talks about all the time, which is that those of us with college degrees who live here and talk to other people with college degrees don't know people who've lost their jobs. And it's good to be reminded that that is actually happening and there's a stark distinction there. Yeah, yeah, and, that, and that's the problem, is that it's a, the great so-called Great Recession was very concentrated mm -hmm. and it was concentrated among the weak in our society, and that's defined by lack of education. You know, I look at this, Joel, and I look at, you know, what we do when there's proactive programs. You look for a government solution, or is your message all free enterprise is how we narrow inequality? It, and it hasn't happened. I think it's a mix. The answer is a mix. We have to have infrastructure investment for the private sector to Why get... is that so hard? It's one of the great questions of this Well, show. we had, you know, remember shovel-ready projects? We never got there. there. We had a lot of projects ready to go, supposedly. Uh, that would have put a lot of people to work. It would have carried through over years. We, we never had the money allocated to really do okay. the, the infrastructure that we need.